Welcome back. The objectives of this video are to introduce direction angles, find the direction angles of vectors, and finding component forms of a vector. So we are working on more vector operations. In our first objective to find the direction angle of a vector u, if u is a unit vector such that theta is the angle measured counterclockwise, so from our standard position, from the positive x-axis to our vector u, then the terminal point u lies on the unit circle. And you have that vector u equals essentially in component form x and y, or on our unit circle, cosine theta and sine theta. Or you could look at it as cosine theta i plus sine theta j, which was that linear combination that we saw in an earlier video. If you saw unit vector and thought unit circle, well, here we are. We have a unit vector imposed on the unit circle. So shown in the figure here, the angle theta is the direction angle of vector u as it lies on our unit circle. So let's take a look at a sample. For instance, the vector v of magnitude 3 that makes an angle of 30 degrees with the positive x-axis is denoted here. v equals 3 times the cosine of 30 i plus 3 times the sine of 30 j and gives our answer. Well, how do we get that? Well, our magnitude 3, remember our, our linear combination form of the unit vector, cosine theta i plus th sine theta j. Well, we added a magnitude of 3 here, so the cosine of 30 degrees is, from our unit circle, is the square root of 3 over 2 i and our magnitude of 3 again, and our sine of 30 from our unit circle is 1 half j. So we end up with 3 times 3 square root of 2 i plus 3 halves j. So just multiplying it out, and we get our vector, okay, using our unit circle and the properties of that 30, 60, 90 right triangle. In objective 2, we're going to look at direction angles. So, assuming that u is a unit vector with a direction angle of theta, now remember equivalent vectors had the same magnitude and direction, and to find direction, we used the slope. So if our vector a i plus b j is any vector that makes an angle theta with the positive x axis, then it has the same direction as u. Well, wait a minute. If we have slope and we have is direction, we might be thinking here tangent, because tangent is slope. So let's take a look. Because v equals ai plus bj, and the magnitude of v times the cosine of i plus the magnitude of v times the sine of j, which we did in the previous problem, okay? We used a magnitude of 3 there. It follows that the direction angle theta for v is determined from tangent. They're telling us that the direction angle for our vector is the tangent. Well, we know tangent is sine over cosine. And rewriting it from above here, sine is our magnitude times the sine of theta divided by the magnitude times our cosine of theta. That's still tangent. So looking at this, okay, if this is sine and cosine, so B must be sine and A is cosine, sure enough. The tangent of theta is b over a. Well, tangent is also our direction of theta. So if we find the tangent, 
we have found the direction because we have found the slope. Tangent is slope. So find the direction angle of each vector. So in A, vector u is 3i plus 3j. Or our, so to find our tangent of theta, we would do sine over cosine, which is simply 3 over 3, which is the same thing as our b over our a. I probably should write that here, same as b over a. So it's equal to 1. Well, think about your unit circle. The tangent of theta is equal to 1 at 45 degrees. And then for b, this one's going to be a little more challenging. Okay, we want to find our tangent of theta, which again, sine over cosine. Some of you guys are probably skipping right to b over a. Our sine is negative 4, and our cosine is 3, or our b over our a. So our tangent is negative 4 thirds. So the arc tangent of 4 thirds, negative 4 thirds equals theta. Okay, we need to take the absolute value of that. That is equal to the absolute value of negative 53.13 degrees. How did I get that? Well, I used my calculator for that and I had it in degree mode and I get 53.13. But we have to look at what our a and b is and our sine and our cosine. We were actually, our tangent was negative with our y's being negative 4. So we're down here with a y of negative 4 and an x of 3 we want to find out what this particular angle is. So if this angle theta was 53.13, we have to go 360 minus 53.13, and we get 306.87 degrees for our theta. In sample three, finding a component vector, find the component form, of the vector that represents the velocity of an airplane descending at a speed of 100 miles per hour at an angle of 30 degrees below the horizontal. So they give us a diagram here. So if we're 30 degrees below the horizontal, we end up with a 210 degree angle. We've got our, our 100 for our, our magnitude here. Taking a look at our solution, the magnitude of v cosine theta i plus the magnitude of v sine theta j. Substituting all the information in, we get, so the cosine of 210 is a 30 degree angle in the third quadrant. That would be 100 times negative square root of 3 over 2 i. And then the sine there is negative one half j. So we get negative 50 square root of 3 i plus or minus 50 j. So our new vector is negative 50 square root of 3 and negative 50. So we have found the component form of the vector that represents the velocity v of the airplane descending at that particular speed. And we'll get some more practice with this when I see you in class.